What up, YouTube? It's your boy Chris. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how I got my S912 brushless. Okay. First off, change the stock servo to a standard hobby grade servo. Any kind of work. The main thing is when you take out your stock servo out of your S912, you have to go inside the servo and pull out that white part because you're going to still have to use the stock servo horn to run the car. Now, you can try to mod it. You can try to do whatever. This was the easiest way I seen. Now, I tried to make me one. Steering was kind of loose. Probably need to glue it on the inside. So I scrapped that and went to this technique. Now it is on a servo horn. And with them little cheap ones, hopefully they give you four. If you get that round one, you in the building. Or make you one. See. This goes on the servo, line it up with your wheel, get it up in there, set your servo to that. Let's see. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. Let's see. You got to excuse all my wires and stuff because I just put it back together. So, hold on one second. Now, got the cover off. You can see the back of the servo. I had to cut the plastic place with an ESC set, stop, remove the ESC, cut it wide enough for my servo, mounted it in there, uh, got it how I wanted to, made sure I had it in the flush to where I can get the cover back on because you got to have the cover. You can see, I use hot glue, and I do have some screws in there. I use the hot glue because it'll hold it better. And when I'm ready to pull it out, pull it out. Now, it's going to be ugly if I ever decided to go back stock, but I'll still be able to get my receiver and stuff in there. I promise you that. But never going back stock. After going brushless, pff, ain't nowhere in the world. So we can get her back running. Okay, Let's see the motor is, let's see if we can focus in on it, okay, that's it, ordered it off Amazon, go on Amazon, you can get your servos, motor, ESC, now, it does run hot. So I will change out the motor in this one and go with one a little bit bigger because you can't get a 50 inch can in here. I think the stock motor is like 48 millimeters, but you should be able to squeeze a 50 inch can. If not, they have 45s or whatever. But the diameter is 28 millimeters. So I'm gonna go with a bigger can, try to get it in, see what that do. Let's say with a servo, servo horn. Like I said this comes off of your stock. So as soon as you pull out your stock ESC out of this, I mean receiver, I mean servo. Got to excuse me, man. I'm trying to hurry up and do it. As soon as you pull out your stock servo, go inside, pop these out, and if you hold on one second, I think I got what it looked like. Hold on one second. Okay, got my servo. You can see. So it sits in. Up and down. White part will come out. Connect to your servo horn up in there. And everything else is good to go. 
center your wheels, line everything up, make sure your servo is centered, snap it on. It's going to be a little off, so adjust your trim on your remote, take some of the dual right off. I mean, turn your wheels all the way out and turn your dual right down until you don't hear no sound and the wheel turns a little bit. Check the other side. Yeah, you know, you want it to wear, you won't burn out your servo. Trust me, it'll, it'll work. Now, as far as my transmitter, I use my red cat. This goes with my blackout XT. My blackout's in repair right now. Put it in the ditch. Fry my ESC. So I'm going to rebuild it, redo my diffs, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to get another remote. So I just use this for all my little hobbies, projects, whatever. Receiver, just had it. But anyway, I use the receiver. And it goes to it. Everything's up in there. ESC. Brushless. Now, when it comes to mounting the motor, it will fit in the standard holes, and it do have two bigger holes. What I did was, I ended up mounting my gearbox. Meaning, I moved my holes over to be able to put a 17 tooth pinion from a red cap. When I changed the pinion off that from stock to a 21 tooth, took the 17 tooth from that, put it on this. Made my hole bigger. I was able to get my motor in there. And for a while, she worked. It wasn't until I ran with my XT tires, big boys, tent scale. I did something to it. I think this had messed up, tore the gears inside of it. Tried to change the gearbox, but she ain't working out for me. So I'm gonna, I'm end up doing something different. But when she was working, man, she was a beast. One thing I did do, since I'm rebuilding my blackout, took my shocks, lining them up here. Didn't have to mod it at all. I just used the little rubber pieces from the servos and the little metal piece they gave you. Made me some mounts, and they worked. Need to put more oil in it, clean them out, but better than stock. Got to give me some more body mounts. Because on 3S with no body on it, she is coming up. With the body on, on 3S, she is coming up. She loves the willy. Oh. You will need new tires, because you can see. Rims is destroyed. My buggy tires don't grip like I want it to. And I don't do no jumping since I got a 17 2 pinion on it. Didn't want to tap the gear, so she was straight speed. I say the most I got out of was 49. Didn't record it though. I won them body off moments, and I destroyed my GPS on that run. Was able to fix it, but she never worked right with this. I do have a picture of a 42 mile, but I want more. Let's see, I do have a program call, so I think it was set to soft. On 2s, she don't willy. 3s, she does. I say I buy. One replacement car 
a little cheaper version of it to replace all my parts except for the A arms. You, know, you have to buy those body mounts. But everything else, for $32, I can replace all my internals and gears and all that stuff. Hubs, because I do go through hubs. High speed, wheel tap your hubs. And that's it. And I say, man, I give you more in depth when I put another one together, because I do plan on building me another one. But I hope this helps, and try not to take up all your time. So, let's get a look at what I am working on. This is my WL Toys L9, what is it? L969. Yeah. Yeah. Another simple mod. Little stupid servo they had in there, so I said, I'm going to put my own in there. I didn't want to alter the, the body none, so trusty glue. She handles the torque, so she's down. When I'm ready to take it up, pull it up. But I plan on making this one brushless, too. Oh, she brush. She's cool and all. But uh, I said, depending on Irma, we'll see what we're going to do. And like I say, no, I'm not big balling. I tell you what I got to get what I can get. I enjoy it. Hobby is fun. It's relaxing. And ain't nothing like tearing up the street, making people stop and look. It's 12 scale. I say it's just something to do while my other one's down. I haven't made no modifications to my red cat yet. She still stopped for one brush. But it's coming soon. Get these right. Put some more videos out. When I build my next one, I'm doing it in front of the camera. Hopefully it'll help out. Another reason why you need that cover on it. Make sure when you do your mods, you can fit your cover on it. Because if you don't, if you hit something, which I learned the hard the hard, hard way. First day I put it together, hit a little pole outside. She was probably doing about 30. On 2S, it split all the way up in there. Broke the bumper. I was driving the buggy. This is the street car, but it broke the bumper, little ring. And yeah. So when I ran on 3S, not knowing that I had cracked it up in there, the first run destroyed it. I mean, pretty much sheared it all the way off, just hanging by a thread. Destroyed my whole front end, A-arms. No, 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 no. i take that back. Didn't destroy the A-arms. Killed my hubs, though. So make sure you can get your covers back on. Plus, ain't nothing like a car with all its parts. I'll cut it in there just to get more air. But I plan on putting a fan on ESC, too, because it gets hot. What? i say that's it. Easy peasy. I'll be back. Stay tuned.